Hey guys, uh, Delfino Garza again. I wanted to show you all something this morning on the watermelon and I forgot. And I just remember, re remembered right now and I better do it right now. And so, some of my watermelon leaves are being attacked by aphids. And you can kind of spot aphid damage just by, by looking at it. Um, let's see. The leaves are kind of like like melted in, kind of. Um, the thing is, I don't have any good examples because I had already started putting up diatomaceous earth on it. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute. See, this one might, do you see how this leaf it's kind of like bent a little bit right here. So let me turn that upside down and see what's under there. And there they are. See, there's there's an ant, a few ants, but in there, there's some little yellow insects. Those insects are the problem. And so let me see if I can't do this without. I would like to show you all this. What I'm gonna do. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can do it one handed. So here's the leaf in question, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna spray it with this powder. It's it's diatoma it's called diatomaceous earth. Okay, let me see if I can focus in on that. And watch, let me show something to you all. So I've got some of it on my fingers there. And I'm gonna eat some. Yeah, I got it in my mouth. It doesn't really taste like anything. Um it's made out of like silica and little microscopic dead little animals that have shells and for anything other than insects it's totally benign but for insects it's like little pieces of glass and uh, it stabs into them and they begin losing water and they're gonna want to drink more water but the more water they drink it will never, it will never uh, re-moisturize them because they actually have little cuts on them. And so I'm gonna try to, see, this one looks, no, that one's not too bent. But I'm just gonna go ahead and go to town spraying them from underneath. And they're gonna kill ants too, this stuff. It's gonna kill ants. Um, and this stuff keeps on working. Um, until it gets wet. Once it gets wet, it doesn't it doesn't work anymore. And I really like this stuff because it's non-toxic. Well, to people. And really, it's not it's not toxic to insects either. It's just it's as toxic as a knife. So. We'll see how that goes, um, and I'll talk more about aphids uh, later. Um, aphids are a big time problem. Um, they eat sap from the, from the plant, and then they poop sap out. And sap has a lot of sugar in it. And what the what the ants do is they kind of use the aphids like milking cows, sort of milking cows for for sugar. So the aphids tap into the sap and they excrete like their poop is very sugary. In fact, I don't think there's a difference between, I think you can eat their poop because it's like sugar. Um, but the ants really like it. And what they do is they kind of tend 
to the aphids the way a farmer might tend to his cows. And they'll move the aphids around and they'll make they'll protect the aphids and, and the aphids never get eaten by the ants because they keep on pooping out this, this sugary stuff. And it sort of um, like tricks the ants, like it gets them addicted to it. And so then they don't want to hurt the little aphids. But meanwhile, the aphids are hurting your plants, okay? So, yeah, a little bug war that I have with, with the bugs. So, anyways, just wanted to tell you all that and signing off. I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.